Over here I've got a drop down list of options. Before I go too far I'm going to save my work. So I'm going to say save a copy. I'm not going to put to my projects because that means I have to log in. I have to sign in at the top right of the screen. I don't need to do that. I'm just going to save on my computer. So I'm going to choose this one. For me at the moment I'm saving into my Loretta OneDrive but um, your teacher might tell you to save yours somewhere else. So we'll find out from, um, from them where you want it. I'm going to call my file cube2 and hit save. Okay, so I've got a bunch of menu options along here. Now these ones are basically my drawing and modeling tools along the top. They're the things I'm going to use the most. I've got a undo and a redo in case I make any mistakes. I can go back and forth. Don't bother with premium and sign in. They're not of any importance to us now. And the little question mark here just gives you some extra help, tutorials and things like that if you want to know how to do something you're not sure of. This menu down the right basically allows me to change how I see things here. So if I want to see my sketch lines or hide sketch lines, if I want to take a picture of what I've drawn and so on, and you'll see a few of those working as we go along. The other one that's really important is this what's called a view cube and that changes the way that we look at our screen. So at the moment we're looking in 3D and the 3D view is what you get when you click this little home here and it resets it. If I move around by clicking you can see there's my front view, there's my top view, I can go for side views and so on. I'll return by clicking on the home. Now if I don't want to do it by clicking on this view cube I can actually use my mouse. So my mouse is really useful in this software. If I roll my mouse roller I zoom in and I zoom out. If I hold down my mouse roll button I can move my screen around. If I do both, if I hold down shift and hold down my roll button, I can do what's called orbiting and I can move it all around the same as I could by moving my view cube. Okay, you're going to get the hang of this, but let's draw something first. So I'm going to move to my top view first of all. So I get a kind of 2D view and I'm going to zoom in a little bit and I'm going to move my screen so you can see it a little bit better on yours. Okay, I'm going to go straight for sketching. Now, although there's other tools for drawing things, you can create 3D models straight away. It's better to learn how to use the sketching tools because they give you more options. I'm going to choose a rectangle and then it's basically saying where do I want to draw it because it doesn't know where to put it. So I'm just going to say I want it on this grid. So I'm going to click the grid to select it, but I haven't started it now. It'll start when I first click. So you can see it locks to these points on the grid. I'm going to click here and I'm just going to drag my mouse. I'm not holding my mouse button, I'm just moving my mouse. And you can see the dimensions change as I move it. So I could do it by eye, I could drag like this to get to 50 by 50 and then click my mouse button or if I wanted to I can type. So whichever one is highlighted blue, if I start typing, so I type 50 in there and then I press the tab button and I can type 50 again, it will work out those sizes. Now it hasn't set them yet until I press enter. So if I press enter a couple of times, it's now created for me that sketch. It's only two dimensions, there's not any height to it at the moment, it's just a flat drawing. If I click on my drawing, you can see it goes blue and I get this little settings and if I hover over it I get options. One of them is move. So if I choose move, I can just use these little arrows and if I wanted to try and position this so it was a little bit neater, a bit more in the centre of my grid, I can move it around a little bit. And when I'm happy, I just click off it. Okay, I'm going to now go to 3D view. What I want to do is give this thing some height. So the same thing, there's a few ways of doing this. I can do it from um, my options over here, this one called extrude, or I can click on it so it goes blue again, click on my, hover over my settings again, and choose extrude from here. So extrude basically allows me, as you'll see, to pull this handle upwards to create a 3D model. Now I can pull until I get to where I want it to be, or I can do the same thing, I can type in here. So if I type 50 again and press enter, I'll zoom out so you can see it a bit better. Now I've got my three dimensional cube. I can move it around, I can use my view cube over here to look at different faces and stuff, so on. The other thing to, to note is I can still see my sketch line through here. Okay. Now I can turn off sketches if I don't want to see them. So if I turn off, if I hide my sketch, that sketch line goes. If I want to see this in different ways, I can choose to have materials and outlines, which gives it this black outline, or I can do materials only. 
Now I could even do outlines only and see it as a, as a see-through thing. But for the time being, I'm going to stick with materials and outlines, and I'm going to change that afterwards.